Hegemony or Survival, America's Quest for Global Dominance, 2003, by Noam Chomsky, explores the United States' pursuit of global power and the potentially devastating consequences of its imperialistic policies. Chomsky argues that the U.S. government has consistently sought hegemony over other nations, prioritizing military and economic control over diplomatic or humanitarian concerns. The book is a critique of U.S. foreign policy and its broader implications for global security, human rights, and survival in the face of potential environmental and nuclear catastrophes. Here is an in-depth exploration of the book's major themes and arguments. Chomsky opens by framing U.S. foreign policy as a deliberate and long-term project aimed at achieving global dominance. He traces this ambition back to World War II, when the U.S. emerged as a superpower and identifies a continuity of policies that have sought to maintain and expand this dominance. He emphasizes that American policymakers, regardless of political party, have consistently worked to ensure that no rival power can challenge U.S supremacy on the global stage. This quest for hegemony is driven by a combination of economic, political, and military strategies. Chomsky critiques the doctrine of full-spectrum dominance, a military concept embraced by U.S. officials that seeks to maintain superiority in every aspect of warfare, including land, air, sea, and space. He argues that this doctrine reflects a broader imperial mindset that views the world as a space to be controlled and dominated, rather than cooperated with. Military power plays a central role in the U.S. pursuit of global dominance, and Chomsky devotes significant attention to the history of U.S military interventions. He critiques the logic behind many of these interventions, arguing that they are often justified by dubious claims about national security or humanitarian concerns. In reality, Chomsky suggests U.S. interventions are usually motivated by economic interests, such as securing access to resources or establishing favorable trade conditions. Chomsky examines various conflicts where the U.S. has exerted its military might, including the Vietnam War, the Korean War, the Gulf War, and the Iraq War. He asserts that these wars are examples of the U.S. acting as an imperial power using violence to assert its control over foreign nations and regions. He also highlights the human costs of these interventions, emphasizing that millions of people have suffered or died as a result of U.S. foreign policy decisions. Moreover, Chomsky warns of the long-term consequences of this militaristic approach. He argues that the U.S military industrial complex, which profits from continuous warfare, has a vested interest in maintaining a state of global instability, which perpetuates cycles of violence and increases the risk of catastrophic conflicts, including nuclear war. Beyond military interventions, Chomsky critiques the U.S. for engaging in economic imperialism, particularly through institutions like the International Monetary Fund IMF and the World Bank. He argues that these institutions, which are heavily influenced by U.S. policymakers, promote neoliberal policies, such as deregulation, privatization, and free market reforms 
that disproportionately benefit multinational corporations and Western economies. Chomsky is particularly critical of the impact of these policies on developing nations. He notes that countries in the global south are often forced to adopt neoliberal reforms as a condition for receiving loans or aid from international organizations. These reforms, he argues, result in the concentration of wealth and power in the hands of local elites, while impoverishing the majority of the population. This economic subjugation, according to Chomsky, is another way in which the U.S. maintains global hegemony. The book highlights examples where the U.S. has supported undemocratic regimes as long as they align with American economic and political interests. Chomsky argues that this undermines the U.S.S. claims to be promoting democracy and human rights globally, showing that its real priorities lie in maintaining control over global markets and resources. Published shortly after the events of September 11, 2001, Hegemony or Survival provides a critical analysis of the so called War on Terror. Chomsky contends that the U.S. response to the 9 1 1 attacks, especially the invasions of Afghanistan and Iraq, has little to do with combating terrorism and more to do with consolidating U.S. dominance in strategically important regions particularly the Middle East. Chomsky critiques the way the U.S. government used the 9-1-1 attacks to justify expanding its military presence abroad and increasing domestic surveillance and repression. He argues that the war on terror has been used as a pretext for imperial actions with the invasion of Iraq in 2003 being a prime example, Chomsky dismisses the idea that Iraq posed a real threat to the U.S., instead characterizing the war as a way to secure control over the country's oil reserves and strengthen U.S. geopolitical influence in the region. Chomsky also emphasizes the hypocrisy of U.S actions during the war on terror. While condemning terrorism, he points out that the U.S. has often supported or engaged in acts of state terrorism, such as backing authoritarian regimes that commit human rights abuses, or using drone strikes and bombings that result in civilian casualties. Chomsky warns that the U.S pursuit of global dominance is not only morally and politically destructive, but also poses an existential threat to humanity. He focuses on two primary dangers, environmental degradation and the threat of nuclear war. Chomsky argues that the U.S. government, along with other major powers, has consistently failed to address these crises in any meaningful way, largely because of the short-term interests of political and corporate elites. He critiques the U.S. for its inaction on climate change, highlighting the role of powerful corporations in blocking environmental reforms. Chomsky argues that the pursuit of profit has led to environmental destruction on a massive scale threatening the planet's ecosystems and the survival of future generations. He also emphasizes the unequal impact of climate change, with poor nations and communities suffering the most from the consequences of environmental degradation. On the issue of nuclear weapons, Chomsky expresses deep concern over the continued existence and proliferation of nuclear arsenals. He criticizes the U.S. and other nuclear powers for failing to adhere to disarmament agreements and for maintaining policies 
that increase the risk of nuclear conflict, Chomsky argues that the logic of power politics, combined with the existence of nuclear weapons, makes global annihilation a real and terrifying possibility. Throughout the book, Chomsky repeatedly challenges the U.S. narrative that it acts as a global champion of democracy and human rights. He argues that while U.S. leaders frequently speak of promoting democracy, their actions often reveal a different agenda. Chomsky points out that the U.S. has historically supported authoritarian regimes, including in Latin America, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia, as long as those regimes serve you. S. Strategic Interests Chomsky provides examples of U.S. backed coups against democratically elected governments, such as the overthrow of Chilean President Salvador Allende in 1973. He argues that the U.S. has consistently undermined democratic movements when they threaten to challenge its control over resources or economic policies. This hypocrisy Chomsky suggests exposes the true nature of U.S. foreign policy, not the promotion of democracy, but the maintenance of its own hegemony. In his conclusion, Chomsky warns that humanity is at a crossroads. The U.S. pursuit of global hegemony, combined with its environmental and military policies, risks leading to global catastrophe. Chomsky argues that the world faces a stark choice. Either the U.S. abandons its imperial ambitions and works cooperatively with other nations to address global challenges, or humanity may face survival-threatening disasters, such as nuclear war or environmental collapse. Chomsky calls for a fundamental revaluation of global priorities. He advocates for a shift away from the pursuit of power and toward cooperation, diplomacy, and a commitment to addressing issues like poverty, inequality, climate change, and disarmament. Hegemony or survival is both a critique of U.S. foreign policy and a plea for a more just and sustainable world order. Top of form, bottom of form.